Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft. Finally we are back with another video on the channel. Um, as we can see, we have got a replay today on the Skoda T40. But before I go in and focus fully on the gameplay, I want to first thank you guys for the patience with the channel. Not being able to upload a video for two weeks and still a lot of you guys have stayed around. Also, the channel has grown a lot in the past few weeks and I'm really thankful guys. We are almost at 300 subscribers it's just amazing stuff. Thank you so much to everyone. I am just very happy that I finally uh, grew a little bit on the channel in a very long time. So that's what I wanted to say. For now, we can see I am playing the Skoda T40. This is a replay from 9.15.1. And um, yeah, I got the Skoda T50 when it was on sale. And I had some gold in the garage. And uh, I was able to buy it. So I said to myself, fuck it, I'll buy this tank. Um, why did I decide to buy this tank? I decided to buy this tank because I could see at first glance that I would... Uh, that it would be very likely that I would like this tank a lot. Why would I like this tank a lot? As you guys know, uh, one of my favorite tanks uh, at tier 6 is also the VKP. The German tier 6 medium tank. The, the VKP, the, medium, the very big medium tank with the 220 alpha gun. With a quick reload. And of course this tank is very similar. So that's why I uh, looked at this tank at first glance. And it looked like that uh, I was really going to like this tank. And I was not wrong. I did not disappoint myself. What do I like about these kind of tanks? I like the maneuverability. Because these tanks are pretty maneuverable. And also I really like the, the gun statistics. Um, the aim time and accuracy isn't really that special. But what I really like is the... The 200 uh, plus alpha damage. 200 plus alpha damage is really nice at the tier 6. You really get some good chunks out of your enemy tanks as we can see. That is over two thirds of the total amount of health that that uh, Wolverine had. <laughs> also, uh, the reload is really quick which is really nice. It re this gun reloads in, the ra in about 5 to 6 seconds which is really nice. Well as I said the accuracy and the aim time isn't really that special. It's about average. But as we can see, we still managed to put some good shots into this KV-85 at this long range. Which is nice. This KV-85, yeah, he's done for. He's tracked. And he's on my side. He's on his side showing to me. So, there was no troubles with penetrating that. So, beforehand, this gun had 132mm of penetration. The same as the VKP. And now... This gun uh, got buffed a few patches ago and the penetration got buffed from 132 to 145 which is really nice. That little bit extra penetration uh, yeah, really helps a lot. Uh, I didn't really have a problem with the, t the 132 at the beginning uh, because I was used to it because of playing the VKP. And if you use your mobility well... You'll be able to flank enemy tanks anyway. So then the penetration doesn't really matter that much. Because you're shooting at sides and rears of enemy vehicles. Which are weaker than frontal armor. Of course. So that is really nice what I think about these tanks. The penetration doesn't really... Uh, isn't really the most important thing. But now that it got buffed. It gives you that little bit extra uh, yeah, flexibility to be able to penetrate uh, enemy tanks. Sometimes easier from the front. Well, the tanks that we are aiming at right now, we don't really need the penetration. Because, yeah, almost every penetration would go through these tanks here. Also, what is really nice are the premium rounds. This um, Skoda T40, as you can see, gets heat rounds. Uh, would have loved it more if it would have been APCR rounds. But, hey, you can't have it all. Uh, did I see a Dutch flag on the side of the T150 there? But, ah, well, doesn't matter. Hello fellow Dutchman T150. Unfortunately I'm going to have to put some shots into you right now. But I'll screw it. I want my experience man. But as I said. This gun. 200 millimeters of penetration on its heat rounds. Very nice penetration. More than enough to be able to uh, contest tier 8 tanks. Which you will be able to meet in the Skoda T40. But that's one of the things I really like about this tank. Few disadvantages. As you can see, this tank doesn't really get that much armor. And it is a really big tank. So don't expect to bounce anything in this tank. Also, one disadvantage is heat shells. I would have loved to see an APCR as premium ammo on this tank. But unfortunately, we cannot have it all. So, as we can see, we are attacking on sand, river. We're already on the mid-ridge. And we are winning. 
done already over 2000 damage. Which is a really nice amount for your tier 6 tank. Every tier 6 tank should be proud to do 2000 damage. So it, there are only 5 enemy tanks left. And it's pretty much a case of trying to uh, dig into the enemy right now. They've got really good defensive locations. And I've got um, only half of my health left. So I can't be too aggressive. But now as I see that the most dangerous tanks have died. Uh, yeah, that gives me the indication to just go in. And as I am one of the faster tanks alive at the moment. I'll be able to hopefully put at least a few more shots into some tanks. Driving through the rubble here. Yeah, well, you can see the mobility here. It's quite good. It's not the best. The top speed is 50. There are medium tanks that are a lot faster than that. But for a tier 6 tank, I have to say that this is a really nice mobility. So hopefully we'll be able to put some shots into the artillery. On the move. There we go. Kill with 3 hit points. Well, can't have it all, can we? And yeah, exactly. That's how to miss an artillery. The shell just goes... Precisely between the gun and the hull. So only a firefly left. He's got yeah around 30 hit points. I'm going to spoil that I will not be able to get to him. Because as we can see he is still spotted. And we've got three artillery alive at the moment. So what is going to happen? He's spotted at the moment. He manages to kill one of our tanks still. Then he gets unspotted. And I think okay I've got you now buddy. So he gets unspotted and then skadoosh. Artillery takes him down So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video before I end this video I quickly want to add that the upcoming two weeks will be a little less busy than previous weeks So that I can try and produce some more content, but I can't promise anything also I'd love to see the channel hit the 300 mark soon. I'll see if I can make a special milestone video for that I hope you enjoyed this short replay video and I will see you in the next one. Bye